I met Zul Bailey in, dare I say, 1989. That was my first season as the assistant conductor of the National Symphony. Zul was 17, 16, something like that. He was part of the NSO Fellowship Program. And I must tell you, the talent was immediately apparent. It's like, okay, that kid's a star, that's that. But even knowing that back then, to see Zool blossom into the one of the great cellists of our time, and to have the kind of Grammy-winning career that, that, of course, every cellist hopes for, but darn few actually receive, I don't know, the Yiddish word is kvelling. I'm just glowing with pride. I'm like Uncle Randy to Zool. Uh, um, then there's this Michael Doherty concerto, the, the Hemingway piece. God, I mean, you, you just don't hear a masterpiece being born so often. But, but it's just that. Uh, uh, Michael Doherty's a Grammy-winning composer. Zool, of course, won a Grammy for Best Performance playing this piece. You know, wait till you hear it. It's, it's everything. It's incredibly beautiful, very dynamic, very compelling. Uh, uh, there are some, some rough and tumble scenes that are represented, you know, of course, in the Hemingway's novel uh, that are very film scory, very Star Wars-y, but at the same time, there's that incredibly intimate voice for Zool and his cello. I'm so proud of Zool. I'm so excited to be doing this piece. <laughs>